restore the balance. The destroyer knows of your coming. Even now. He moves his legions against you. Then I'll make this quick. I'm Kat. I'm Mike. And I'm Jason. And we're reviewing Darksiders today, here in 2010. That's right. And we want to say hello to all of our new subscribers, and thanks for watching still to our old subscribers. So, this is the case. The idea of this story is you are playing a character called War. And he is one of the four horsemen, he's the Red Rider. Their job is to keep the balance, basically, between the three kingdoms. There's the Kingdom of Heaven, Hell, and Humankind. He's prematurely summoned, and this causes a chain of events that essentially causes the extinction of mankind, as well as a huge war between Heaven and Hell. He's gone for a hundred years, comes back, has none of his powers, and has to basically restart from the beginning, collecting all of his weapons, collecting all of his powers, and basically trying to find out answers and punish who's to blame. The character War has a big sword and a big glove. He's clearly compensating for something, but he's very powerful. What can he do, Jay? He's copied every single combo out of every other game like this, so... Ooh! The gameplay as War I feel that the animations in the game are a little not good enough. Not good enough. For not you. good enough. He's wearing how many pounds of armor would you guess? I'd say about a uh, deuce, a deuce and a half. Yeah. He's got at least 500 to I don't know. 200 six, deuces. 600 pounds of armor on. Feels very light. So something is definitely off in that, and I I, I think it's the animations themselves are very just. They're not organic, they're very cut and paste. Mm -hmm. You played on 360 the same as I did, and there were yeah. some issues you had as well. Yeah, unfortunately with the 360, there is some screen tearing that's happening. People who don't know what screen tearing is, it's when you see one frame of video and then the next frame of video at the exact same time, and it shows a line right across the screen. It happened to me too. So, there you go, you heard it here first. There's some <laughs> screen tearing on uh, Darksiders. What I want to talk about now is the combo system and how uh, unoriginal it is. What the fuck is the deal with those combos? They're, some of them are actually really difficult to pull off, and when you pull them off, you're like, oh, I just punched a guy. It's not as rewarding as you would think it would be. And the really cool moves are just, you just hit, hit B. Just do a little tap. Definitely there's a ton of customization with all of his weapons, or when you use a sword in this case, it gets powered up as you go through the game. Now, they have a character who's actually in the glove, called The Watcher. Yeah, The Watcher is actually played by Mark Hamill. Who also did the Joker in Ark Asylum. Uh, they loved his performance and that so much that they got him to do this. Yeah. And, and he, you saw some... I saw some video of him actually doing the performance. He gets really into it, like really creepy. Oh my god! That's what happens when your franchise goes downhill. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, choke yourself. <laughs> Anytime he was yeah. talking, I was like, ah, oh, nails on chalkboard, why? Shut your mouth. Looks like our trajectory was a little off. So in this game, the interface that you use, uh, you have a health bar at the top. Now, what I don't like is you have these things called life stones, and they're these little skulls that are above your health bar, and you get more as you go along. And what I find annoying is that it's it's misleading. You'll see that you're just about out of health, and you're like, well, I gotta like be careful. And then something like you have full health, it seems like, but it's because you've lost one of your stones. I personally would rather just have my health slowly go down instead of it going by big stretches and like losing all these stones. He should have had one health bar and that's it. Now let's talk about his, his horse, Ruin. So he has uh, passive abilities. There's Ruin, his horse. There's a little badge at the top that lights up whenever you can summon him. Eventually the maps get so, so big that you really do need the horse just nope. to get around or else it would take bloody forever. There's also Shadow Light. And that is basically for gliding. These uh, like demon-like wings come from you. Chronomancer, temporarily able to slow time, which is obviously helpful if you have like a lot of enemies. Or if you have ex-girlfriends after you. First of all, the horse is stolen from Legend of Zelda. All of the combos are either stolen from old games like Devil May Cry, Ninja Gaiden, and especially God of War. The art design it's, it's okay. A lot of them just kind of look like devils, and yes, they are demons, a lot of the characters, but like, eh. Now saying that, and playing this game, it's actually really fun. Even though it's copying other games, it's kind of taking the best parts out of every game and putting it together. And yes, the moves and stuff, sometimes it gets really repetitive, but still I enjoyed it. And also the different weapons you can use mm -hmm. are great. The horn, the, they go, ooh, and it like blow knocks the enemies, enemies away. back. So the first weapon upgrade that you do get is a scythe. And what you can do with this is either spin it around you, or throw it and it spins and cuts the characters a few times. You can choose the upgrades that you want to buy next. So, 
You can have an upgrade that throws the character up into the air and you jump up with him and throw that scythe and it cuts him up while he's in the air. Yeah. And the level design is amazing. That not once was I lost in like even though it's a huge world that you're in, you think, Oh god, where do I have to go? I always knew where mm -hmm. I had to go the way that Or you could reference the map and the maps are easy to read. Yeah. It wasn't difficult. So one of the tips that we want to give you guys is definitely collect all of the souls. So when you see a car on the side of the road, even though it takes a little bit of time, smash a shit out of that car because it's gonna give you two souls. Or even like everything, chairs, desks. A lot of cool boss battles in this game too. Yeah, the boss battles were good. I enjoyed yeah. them. So overall the game's really fun. I give it an eight. I would agree. I would also give it an eight. I give the game an 8.5. Now, if you want to buy this game, you can go to our website, 3kb.ca, and purchase it there through Amazon. So the reason we're telling you guys this is we're getting a lot of feedback now saying the show's great, we wish you could do more reviews, more reviews, more reviews. The thing is, we're not rich. Mike's rich, but he won't share the money. So Selfish. Yeah, we have to buy these games. So all the games you see on the show here are definitely purchased out of our own pockets. So mm -hmm. by going to our site and clicking on the Amazon links and buying any of your video games, you're not essentially giving us money, you're getting us a referral. You help me support the show, and yeah. we thank yes. you for that. So by buying your stuff on Amazon, you're giving us money mm -hmm. by referral, and in turn, we buy our games off of Amazon. So we can essentially do more reviews for you guys. But if you want to support the show, it's a great idea. 3kb.ca. It'll give chicken in this guy's gullet, and Kat can finally get that unicorn with the vibrating satchel. <sighs> Get him. <laughs> you gotta fly away. You gotta do it like this. Oh, God. Yeah.